Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's about all the cows I am taking part in. I'll show you my finished projects and a whip that is a continuing cow. So, to get started, I have entered the bot along. I've talked about it before. And I finally finished a project number two for the bot along that is being run by Jewel from Fiber Fleezy and Daniel the poor ply guy. It runs to sometime in September. can't remember exactly when. Anyway, this is Things Poncho. I did show the pattern before. Ta-da! It is finished. It is big. It is heavy. But he loves it. So this is the, I'll just get the pattern, uh, Men's Poncho by Bag O'Day. Um, I bought the pattern in February when we we're having a lot of internet issues. There is a tutorial for this and I'll put it in the link in the description below. I bought this from Etsy. They're very inexpensive patterns. Um, and it was really great to have a written pattern because it could go places with me. Because even though it's quite an easy pattern, I lose my way. So, And I really needed it for the neck division. Um, look. He picked the yarn and I find it's way too busy for this pattern. It doesn't do the pattern stitch justice, but he's an old hippie. He loves this. Um, I can't remember if I said there's a photo at the end of him wearing it. He likes it because when he goes off camping by himself, being retired, he might go away for a day or so camping. He can wear it around the campfire at night to keep warm as a poncho. But because it's open-sided, like that, he also can throw it in his swag and use it as an extra blanket if it gets really cold. But there you go. The Men's Poncho by Bag O' Day. It was really easy to make. This yarn was really nice to use. It's um, Red Heart Aran made in Victoria for Australia. And yeah, it didn't split. Um, it's soft. I quite like it. I actually do have another colour in this, enough to make myself a cardigan, which was what it was planned for, so maybe I'll do that. But that is his poncho for thing, and he is very happy with it. I will just put it down there. It's fine down there, because it's quite big. So I also have been wanting to make a child's poncho for a while. I tend to stick to the same granny stitch drawstring top poncho and I wanted something that was a little bit more interesting and a little different and I did find a tutorial on Bag O' Day's uh, YouTube channel and it's called The Queen's Poncho for a child. I love it. It doesn't have a drawstring top neck, it just slips on and it's just gorgeous. I made this in a Karen cake that was sent to me by a subscriber. Can't remember the colour. I don't know what I did with the ball band. I used most of the cake. Very little was left over and very little colour controlling. But I think that's really pretty. The bling button I bought at a local craft shop for $5.90. There were two. I bought one and recently I went back to buy the second one and it's gone. What a silly girl. Because I really wanted to make this again in a purple colour way. I have a purple cake. I thought it would look really nice in. But I think that is really sweet. And yes, there will be a link in the description below to that tutorial. So that's the bot along. Um, I've, that's my third project I've made for it. I may make a fourth. I don't know. I was doing a Tunisian crochet blanket. Um, I showed you guys a few videos back. Well, I ended up frogging it. The yarn I was using was Spotlight Stallion, which has now been re renamed to Studio. Uh, the yarn itself I have used before for charity blankets, but I don't think it's suitable for Tunisian crochet. I did about that much. It didn't look great. It does split, but I think it's better used for something else. And there is a Bag O' Day tutorial I did years ago for a blanket in an inexpensive yarn that turned out awesome and was well received. I do have a lot of that yarn. So I'm contemplating, do I do that again? It does use a lot of yarn, but anyway, it does look great when it's finished. Moving on, 
to Zeta's calendar cow. Yes, we're doing cows. I have done other things like tea cozies. I've said before, I'm not great with cows, but for August, I did find a pattern I like on Ravelry. The reason I like it, I made Gary's um, dragon tail chevron scarf that was reversible. And, and I showed it in the last video. I'll put a link to that video in the cards up above. Um, I like reversible looking projects which don't have a right or wrong side. It is awesome. And I found a cow on Ravelry the same. It is called the Alaskan Waffle Stitch Shawlette or Cow. You can make it bigger into a shawl or you can make it like a shawlette or you can make it like I did into a cow. So basically when you tie it round, you can wear it like that or what I liked about it is because the structure to it, you can pull it up over your nose in the wind and keep your lips and nose warm and don't let them dry out in the wind. It is awesome. I made it in a three weight or eight ply. Um, I use Spotlights Marvel yarn, which I have a lot of this for the calendar cowls for Zetas I bought. She makes it in a four weight, which would probably make it more structured. I think it would be really nice in like a two weight or a fingering weight or lightweight yarn so it drapes really soft if you wanted something a bit more classy. But it's reversible. I'm really getting into this reversible look. I really like it. So that is for um, Zeta's August calendar cowl. Hopefully I've represented the August picture reasonably well. Um, I, I was a bit tricky there where I did light green, dark green, dark green, light green, crocheting around a V, uh, which is like the picture. Zeta's calendar cowl for August, finished. So I am doing Nan's Nix Knots Luck of the Draw 4. I showed the early stages saying I was actually doing a um, knitted blanket by Yarn Inspirations called Tweedle Do. They use two colours. Um, that's the pattern there. I wanted to sort of try mosaic knitting. This came up when I googled mosaic. And here it is. That is what it's starting to look like. Now, my whip card, which is around here somewhere, a lot of the colours look the same. I'm using these greeny blue colours. I don't know if I've got glasses here. This is my whip card. So the base colour is turquoise. Colour number one is iceberg. Colour number two is mint. They look almost the same, but they're not. There's a green tinge. Colour number three is breakfast blue. Colour number four is mallard. Colour number five is cloud, which is bluey white. Then there's duck, which is a duck egg blue. And number eight is sea. So, so far for colour, um, for week one, we used breakfast blue, which is this one. And then week two was number seven, which was this one this one sorry laguna a darker color and then uh, week three was number oh sorry i've done that wrong let's start again week one was number three breakfast blue week two was number seven yes i was right laguna this one then week three was number six, which is duck, which is this one. Week four was number five, which is cloud, which is this one. And then week five was number four, which is mallard, a darker one. The colours look on the card very similar, but there is a difference. In this lighting, it doesn't show up well. But I do like Nan's neck knots luck of the draw i think it's awesome yes i made myself some whip cards because as i get old i keep forgetting things but there you have it it's marble eight ply on a i think it's a four millimeter knitting needle i'm using addy knitting needles but 
guys if you knit can you tell me if your hands get a very metallic smell to them when you've been knitting with the Addies for a while it doesn't happen with the Shy Goose but I have noticed I get a metallic smell on the Addies let me know in the comments below so it's quite un it's not nasty but I have to wash my hands a lot because I don't like that metallic-y smell so in summary I am on annual leave Yee! four weeks off thing and I are planning a trip southwest um, a road trip so if I get an opportunity there's internet I'll post a bit of a video on what we've been up to hopefully we will experience or I will experience some yarn adventures we're not getting on any planes half the country is in lockdown um, I could fly home to Western Australia to see my family but then uh, I run the risk of a lockdown so it's just better to go on a road trip not too far south near the big cities um, my last video I asked for feedback about the young company whether I should give them a second go or not well majority said yes so I have I have made a small $50 order with them it was supposed to be sent within two to three days of the order, but it didn't happen. It'll come next week. That's no, th no uh, fault of theirs. That's to do with all the lockdowns, and they're in an area where there are lockdowns. And yes, I think it's extremely great that they could finally get it out and it'll arrive around Wednesday or Thursday next week, because today is Sunday. Hopefully before Thursday, because Thursday is when we're hitting the road for our road trip. Reeves will be home to um, stay home to look after Saxon. We're not taking him with us. He's quite the rat bag and he doesn't travel in the car well. He's still stealing toilet rolls and thinks it's funny getting you to chase him around the yard trying to get them off him. Anyway, until next time, remember life's an adventure, so make sure you have a yarny adventure. You could make a beautiful Queen's poncho this would be one of my favorite projects this month thanks for watching bye for now